And now let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, learn about the organization of the Missouri-Kansas Conference in the United States. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. On October 12 in 1895, missionary G. H. Baber arrived in Valparaiso, Chile to become the first superintendent of the newly organized Chile mission. On October 14, 1844, Charles Fitch died at the age of 39. A Presbyterian pastor, Fitch was one of the leaders of the Millerites and made his mark on the history of prophetic interpretation by applying the passage in Revelation 18, Babylon is fallen, come out of her my people, to the Protestant denominations who were then resisting the Millerite proclamation of Christ's soon return. Previously Protestants had always applied it only to Roman Catholics. Fitch died eight days before the great disappointment of October 22. 82 years later, on October 14, 1926, a new Adventist college opened at Kanomura in Chiba Prefecture, Japan. Known as Nihon Saniku Gakuin, its first president was American missionary Andrew N. Nelson and it had around 20 students. It originally only accepted male students, but today is co-educational and has 250 students. On October 16, in 1870, during the first camp meeting in the U.S. state of Kansas, held at Pleasanton, those attending organized the Missouri-Kansas Conference with R.J. Lawrence as president. It consisted of just two local churches at that time, but a number of isolated Sabbath keepers as well, one of whom had traveled 270 miles in order to hear James and Ellen White speak. That was this week in Adventist history.